Well, let me welcome you again to Rhema Praise. We're so glad you're with us today. Let me say hi to all of our regulars. We know that you're out there because you come up and tell us when we're out and abound as we travel around with our meetings. And it's so great. We enjoy you coming up and talking to us. So yes. if you come to any of our meetings or anything, or you, if you see us out in a restaurant, it's all right to come up and talk to us. We're That's just right. normal people. That's right. And I want to say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. 2016. Can you no, believe that? No, I can't believe it. Don't, even, don't even talk about it. Uh, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> because it's another year, another birthday, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> and I already had too many. <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> you know, today, uh, as I start the year, I, I want I want everybody to get a hold of what I'm saying in the message today. It's called seeing the impossible become possible. And at the start of the year, it's important to look with the eye of faith. Yes. You, the eye of faith sees different than the natural eye. Mm -hmm. The eye of faith begins to see it happening when it doesn't look, look like, like it's happening. That's right. And, you know, and, and so uh, this means that we study God's Word and expect what the Word of God says to come to pass. And, and let me say that again about the eye of faith. The eye of faith sees what nobody else can see. That's right. Now, you see it because of what the promises of God says, mm -hmm. but nobody, you see it before it happens. Yeah, because it's not visual at that it's time. It's not visual it at that time. Happened. In fact, uh, uh, in Romans there, it says, God calls those things that be not as, as though, though they, they were. were. Even before <clears throat> when when... You, there's no natural thing there that yeah. says it's there. God still calls it That's there. That's right. That's you know, seeing honey, with the eye of faith. I, I, I remember hearing your dad say, and I'd hear it over and over again, he'd talk about somebody that would say, well, when I see it, I'll believe it. Yeah. And he would always say, well, why would you have to believe it when you can see it? That's right. Yeah, you I, have it. Yes. You don't have to, you don't don't have to <laughs> believe it. That's right. So why don't we go right now where I am talking to you at the beginning of the year about seeing the impossible become possible. I am going to talk to you today about seeing the impossible become possible. You know, if you start out on a trip, when you start, you can't see the destination. Am I right? You don't know all the scenery that's going to be involved. You don't know the condition of the road. You don't know uh, detours or construction. And yet you start out on that journey and you accomplish that journey one mile at a time. You know, we don't ever think about that. We just get in the car and go. You know, what... If Bill over here told me, he said, hey, I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, in the morning I'm going to leave at, from the church, I'm going to leave at 8 o'clock and I'm going to drive to Dallas. Well, I get here at 9 o'clock and there's Bill sitting in the parking lot, sitting in his car. I said, man, I thought you were going to Dallas. Well, I can't see Dallas from here, so I don't know whether I can make it or not. Well, now we laugh at that, but do you realize that is the approach that some people take to life? They sit on their couch not going anywhere because they can't really see the possibilities for them in the future. All they can see is the now. All they can see is the situations, the circumstances. Now turn to Luke 18, 27. Luke 18, 27, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. 
the things which are possible or impossible with men are possible with God. Like I've said two or three times already, we're at the beginning of a year. We cannot see what this year holds for us. We can't see the whole year. But we cannot sit in doubt wondering if we're going to make it or not. We have to look at the new year believing that the things which you encounter which are impossible become possible because you are looking at it with the eyes of faith. So as we look at this new year, let us look at it with the eyes of faith. See, the eyes of faith see what nobody else can see. See, one of the greatest secrets of success is to learn to look at things in the right way. You can look at your fuel tank gauge on your car and you can either say, I'm half full or half empty. One of them is positive, the other's on the negative side. Anybody ever see it? Look at that. Anyone ever notice that? It's the way you look at it. It's the way you speak about it. You know, if you look at things with the eyes of doubt and fear, you won't believe and you won't accomplish. Don't look at me like that. It's the truth. Spiritually or naturally. If you look at things with the eyes of faith, believing that you can and that God can help you to make all things possible, then it will happen. It's a matter of how you look at situations. I want to encourage you to look, again, I'm going to say it, look at the new year with the eye of faith, believing what God has said in his word will be accomplished in your life this year. Every impossible situation will become possible because God said it. See, we must learn to not just look in the natural realm, but we must learn to look and see in the unseen realm. Now look at 2 Corinthians 4, 18. And I'm going to read that for you that have your devices. I'm going to read that from the New King James, the Amplified, and the New International Version. Everybody got it? 2 Corinthians 4, 18. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Now the Amplified says it like this. Since we consider and look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are visual, visible are temporal, brief, fleeting, but the things that are invisible are deathless and everlasting. Now the New International Version says, so we fix our eyes not, not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Now, it, th these scriptures are telling us to focus on the unseen, the invisible possibilities that exist with God. You can't see them with these eyes. You have to see it with the eyes of faith. You know, some people get locked in on what they can see. They become depressed, full of fear, doubt, unbelief. You see, as you look at things in the natural or in the physical and you look at those, you think that's all you have. Well, this is all I've got. 
and they doubt that you can that they can ever make it. But you know, we got we got to change that. You know, if you focus on your current life and do not consider the reality of the spoken word of God, then the spoken word of God will be no, never become a reality in your life. Now, here it is. The reason we must look at the unseen realm, and I want, I'm on, I'm, I want to read this because I want you to get it exactly the way I said. The reason we look at the unseen realm, we must look in the unseen realm is because we have more in the unseen realm of the spirit than we do in the physical world that we can see. Now, until you understand that, you will operate in doubt and fear and you will always be wondering if you're going to make it. But if you begin to focus on what the Word of God says, then you will begin to see what you have over here that can become a reality in the natural. And I'm going to talk about it in a minute. You have assets in the, in the unseen realm that uh, will help you in the seen realm. You see, we must accurately look at the assets in the unseen realm, not in the assets that we have in the seen realm. You know, we may be limited in the natural, but we have a whole lot more based on the promises of the Word of God than you can see with these eyes. You have to see with the eyes of the Spirit, with the eyes of faith. Somebody said, I don't have enough. Hey, you're looking at the, you're looking at the natural. Look at what the Word of God says. The Word of God says you have more than enough. Is that not correct? You see, you need to begin to look at the unseen and begin to call what's in the unseen into the reality of the seen. Man, our assets in the unseen realm, the promises of God, the Holy Spirit, the plan of God, the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Man, the name of Jesus, that's one asset you need to really get a hold of. The Bible says at the name of Jesus, everything has to bow. At the name of Jesus, everything has, it has a name, has to bow. That's a powerful asset right there. That's a powerful asset. The blood of Jesus. That's another powerful asset. Because it's the blood of Jesus that washes and makes us whole. There's power. We sing that song, power. In the blood. We just sing there the power of the cross, which is the blood of Jesus. The old, some of you are old enough to remember the old prayer warriors and the old saints used to say, I plead the blood. How many of you ever heard the old prayer warriors? Oh man, more of you than I thought. I plead the blood. What are they talking about? They're talking about the power in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I know that it's not politically correct to talk about the blood, but I'm going to tell you what, it, the blood is the only thing that will wash you clean. The blood is the only thing that has the power to deliver you and set you free. <laughs> Glory to God. I can kick now. I got a new knee. <laughs> I used to have to set up here to pray. Hey. You know, another power.
powerful asset that we have that we don't think about, and that is the, the body of Christ. What am I talking about? The body of believers. That's why he said, don't forsake assembling yourself together because when you come together, believers strengthen one another. You, you don't realize it, but we draw strength from one another as we come and meet together, worship together, sing together, eat together, enjoy fellowship together. We are drawing strength for one another. That is one of the reasons that I talk to you all of the time about getting involved in a link group. So I so, say, well, they don't have a lot of spiritual go on. They may not be a lot spiritual going on there, and yet there, there is, but there, is, there becomes a power when Christians meet together, they strengthen one another. Come on, let's get a hold of this thing. Man, we have the asset, we have the angels. My dad used to say it all the time, and those that travel with him, he would all the time say, minister in spirits, and that's the angels. Go and cause it to happen. How many of you that were around him and travel with him ever heard him say that? How many of you heard, if you've heard him preach it, you probably heard him preach it. How many of you heard him preach it? If you're a Raymond student, I know you heard it in the classroom. We have so many assets that we need to call upon that we just passively think about. Man, they are active. We need to activate them in our lives. You know, how many of you get a bank card or, or a credit card? You know, or a bank card, one of those, what do you call it, cards, uh, debit cards? But you know, you always have to, e either you either got to call a number and activate it or you have to go to the bank and put it in the machine and, and to activate it. Is that not correct? How many of you have ever had to do that? Hey, we need to take all of these assets and we need to make sure that we activate them in our lives. How do you do that? By looking up and saying, all right, Heavenly Father, right now I activate the plan of God for my life. I activate the name of Jesus in my life. I activate the blood of Jesus in my life. Come on now. God has not called us to live by what we can see. He has called us to live by the promises that he has made in his word right here. That's what we're called to live by. Not what we can see, not what we can feel. Come on. I don't know about you, I already got me happy. When I get to talking about faith and believing God and grabbing hold of the promises of God, it stirs up something on the inside of me. I don't know about you. That's what it's supposed to do because when you start talking about the promises of God, it begins to activate and stir you up and get you to realize I don't have to be involved with the, with the past and the obstacles of this world. I have to be involved by seeing the possibilities that lay out there in my future. Second Corinthians 5, 7, we all know it. Turn and look at it though. Second Corinthians 5, 7, you all know it. Some of you are already quoting it. For we walk by faith and, faith and not by sight. Today's English version, I like this one. And listen to this if you don't have it there. For our life is a matter of faith, not of sight. Our life is a matter of faith, not of sight. What you see is not what you go, 
not what you'll get. What you don't see is what you can have. Everybody say, what you see is what you get. Well, in one, one sense of the word, that can be true. But what we're talking about now, what we're seeing is not what we have to have. What, what is in the unseen is what we can have. Make sure that you got a hold of what I was talking about today and seeing the impossible become possible because the Word of God says it can be. So if you begin to believe it and see it, you can have what the Word of God says you can have. And you know, honey, I just felt impressed uh, as you were speaking that I want, for those of you out there, I know that this is the beginning of a new year. And I know, because I know in the natural, in you know, every year you face situations, right. you face obstacles, you right. face circumstances. Right. And the Lord just quickened my heart that right now, prepare yourself with the attitude, I don't care what impossibilities come my way this year, yes. they are going to become possible with my faith in God. Right. Because Right. Our God, your God will take you through every situation that you may encounter. You will become victorious if you'll keep your faith in Him. Amen, that's right. I'm excited about this yes. year. And we have a tremendous package. Absolutely. The, it, these are our Bible study course packages, and there's one on the Holy Spirit and His gifts, and there's the prayer study course, and there's the healing st study course, and then the Bible faith study course, all of these. And, and these are put together from Dad's teaching. And now, these are different than most study courses because yeah. they will have, they, they're like, a, they're like a, a, a study guide. They will have a message in the mm -hmm. first part, and then there will be questions at the end. It's just not a bunch of scriptures no, and some questions. No, it's, it's actually a, a message. lot of meat. These are are really ni nice, Thick. and 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 you can have all of these for forty five dollars and forty cents. That's right. That's a real bargain. That's thirty percent off. That's thirty percent off. Normally the these four together sell for sixty four dollars and eighty cents. And that's even a good price. We keep yeah. these at a low price. Yeah, because they should be higher. Yes. They should be higher. Actually uh, because but I this this material is so important that I keep the price on these as low as possible yes. so that we can Get, get the, the information out. to you. Now, anytime that we sell any of our products, it every every penny goes right back in to producing more That's so right. we can get it out. Nobody takes any royalties, royalties or no. anything. We want to get the message out. This is great. Hey, I, I, I want to tell you, these are great. You need to get a hold of them. Hey, they make a, they make a great gift. That's right. Yeah, huh? you've got a, a birthday gift or an anniversary yeah, gift. Yeah, or, or if, you, if you've got a, 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 young, a young person going into graduation, ministry, yes. graduating from, from Bible college, hey, this would be a good gift for them. For them. So, hey, go to the phone. And and or go to the actually better go to, go the, to the computer website. go That's to the right. computer and order these. That's right. You are going to want to have these in your library, and you're going to want to give them to some of your friends. Yes. Listen, at the latter part of this month, January the 24th through the 26th, we're going to be down in St. Augustine, Florida. We are going to South. Yeah, in we're the going South time. in the winter. Yes. We're going to be at Anchor of Faith Church with uh, Pastors Earl and Marcy Glisson. And <coughs> service times, you can get them on the web. Oh, gosh, you're on the web. Yes. And then that's the 24th uh, through the, what, the 26th. Six, uh -huh. And then we're going to move down to Naples, Florida, mm -hmm. the 27th through the 29th yes. at New Hope Ministries at, with Pastors Grant and Susan Thigpen. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a great time. Hey, tell all your friends and neighbors yes. in that area and get them to come out. Or if out you're not in that area and you're where snow is, <laughs> hey, come down to Florida. <laughs> And we don't believe there will be any snow there. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, and we're believing for sunshine. <laughs> yeah, and listen, 
If you want to find anything out about our ministry, just go on to, to rhema.org. Yes. And everything is there. We got the Word of Faith magazine. You can download it, or you can actually sign up and have it delivered, mm -hmm. a hard copy delivered to you. Or yeah. on your smartphone, you can download our app. It's Rhema TV, I believe. Uh, and uh, it will give you all the information that you need as well. Yeah, uh, it's not Ray. That's that's the that's, and Rayma USA. And and you get we got a Roku, 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 however you say that. Roku. We got a channel there, <laughs> and you can watch on there, and you can join us live for all of our church services at Rayma. Rama TV, or That's you can right. just go to the main website and it'll show you how yes. to get. Or to you that. can go on that app as well. Oh yeah, smartphone. if you you can put that smartphone on your you can put that on your uh, iPad or your yes. smartphone, and you can watch wherever you're at. You That's know, right. I I if We've I have done that before. Oh yeah, we? I do it because when, I want, when I'm out of town, I want to check up on them, and see right. how what they're doing. <laughs> uh, hey, thanks for watching, and at the first of the year. I want to say thank you to all of you word partners, you faithful word partners. Because of you, we've been able to touch thousands of people's lives this past year, and we'll touch more this year. If you happen to want to be a word partner club member with us, uh, you can go to rhema.org slash WPC, and you say, well, what is a word partner? Well, that's somebody that sends us in a, a an offering once yes. a month. And it, when it all comes in here together, we're able to do a whole lot. And you pray for us yes. and, and for all of our crusades and pray for all of our Bible schools around the world, 213 Bible schools in 50 nations. Yes. So all of that, that's what Word Partner Club does. It, we touch the world and we want to thank you for helping us to bring hope, hope help, help, and, and healing, healing to, to the, the world. world. This month, you can get all four of these in-depth question and answer study courses of the scriptures by Kenneth E. Hagan. The Bible Faith Study Course takes you through the Bible to teach you how faith is produced and how to release it in your life. The Holy Spirit and His Gifts Study Course helps you learn about the gifts of the Holy Spirit and how they operate. The Bible Prayer Study Course teaches you from the Word how to pray effectively and receive answers. And the Bible Healing Study Course provides scriptural proof that it is God's will to heal you. All four study books are available now for only $45.40. Call toll-free 888-PRAISE-8 or log on at rhema.org anytime, day or night to order. Call today. Thank you for watching Rama Praise with Ken and Lynette Hagen. Ken, Lynette, and Rama Bible Training College are committed to reaching the entire world with the gospel of Jesus Christ and training laborers for the end time harvest. If you have prayer requests or would like more information, please write, call, or visit our website. Thank you for being with us today and for your faithful support. And remember, there is hope, help, and healing for a hurting world.